Hi guys, welcome to another Vlogmas video. Thanks so much for being here and stopping by and clicking on my video. Today's video is not going to be your typical vlog. I'm just gonna like sit here and tell you guys why I chose Cycle Bar over Orange Theory. And I know there's no pun intended in this, but I know it's kind of comparing apples to oranges, but I'm just gonna share my experiences, what I liked and didn't like about like each one, like comparing them. I am not getting paid to say anything good or bad about any company. Um, I am just a consumer that tried both fitness, workout, um, styles, and this is just my opinion. So I just wanted to put that out there. If you are not already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel because it really helps me out. So I don't have any notes for this video because it's currently like 9.30 and I'm super tired, but I wanted to film this video because I was talking to my mom about it not too long ago and I just want to give my two cents on the subject. First of all, I really, really enjoy both of like the entrances, like when you walk into an Orange Theory, when you walk into a cycle bar, it's very friendly, welcoming, it's very attractive. The place is not ugly or it just feels really welcoming in both areas. Like there's like a desk and lockers and everything is really designed well, laid out well. There's always like someone to greet you, to help you, especially when it's your first time. Both of them, a plus on like the welcoming environment. So with Cycle Bar, they say to get there like kind of early, which we got there. My very first ride was actually in the Tampa area. So we were kind of running like cutting it close. So I was kind of nervous, but we got there in plenty of time. Everything was okay. It was really chill. Like I got my shoes and they just kind of like showed me everything. <laughs> However, at Orange Theory, um, I got there like pretty early because they like made a good big deal about it So I got there pretty early I also wanted to get some footage because I thought I was gonna be doing like an Instagram thing with them But the girl like seemed to not know that I was gonna be doing that so I was like, okay So I guess I will just ask so I'm like hey Do you mind if I like film in here because that's why I thought I was getting the free tryout But I guess I don't know it was just kind of like misleading um, in a way because like I felt like I was there to do like some social promotions and just like do creator stuff for them but it wasn't so I get to Orange Theory and then she sits me down and I have to like fill out this like questionnaire thing and it was really interesting she sat down with me and like asked me questions and like how much do you, would you like invest in your health and all that I'm like well I don't know because I was doing free things well like up until just recently so there was no big reason why I would be needing to you know sign up so I felt like that was like really interesting and I felt kind of pressured um whereas like a cycle bar I never ever felt pressured um they were just like oh, how'd you like your ride? You know, your legs are gonna be sore. And they were sore, actually. So maybe cycle bars do pressure people. I have no idea, but I was not pressured. But um, the Orange Theory um, situation, she was a little pressuring at the beginning and I was like, oh, I just don't know. Um, and then she was like, okay, well, you're gonna start your class. Starting off with Cycle Bar, they got me all hooked up and ready to go. We were kind of in a rush, so it wasn't like the girl's fault, but I think my bike was like not at the right height and measurements, but that's okay. And like clipping and unclipping your shoes was a little challenging for me, but they did show me, like there wasn't a lot to know about the bike. Um, the only thing I really didn't know is like that you could turn the little red knob for gears like a lot more than I was doing, but that was like one simple thing. But overall the equipment wasn't that hard to use, um, but they took the time and like set me up and everything. Comparing it to Orange Theory, they did show me the equipment. The instructor was really nice with me and she walked me through, you know, how to work the treadmill and how to use the rower and everything. But it was kind of like, I felt a little rushed and like you're talking to someone who's never used equipment. So I just felt like I still didn't really know what I was doing. And like those pieces of equipment aren't that hard, but like still like throwing someone who's never worked out in that sort of environment 
like with equipment and having them like do and use two different pieces of equipment it was just a little overwhelming um but i'm sure you would get used to it so i'm just comparing the two in my experience so starting the class i just remember cycle bars obviously you do a warm-up and my coach was really awesome because or like lead cyclists i don't know the, t the teacher um or as they call them the cycle stars which i think that is really really cool it's like really creative with the words but she was like doing the workouts and like showing us and everything on the contrary my orange theory fitness instructor and i think this goes with all of the orange theory instructors but um, they don't do the workouts with you. And I personally like to have the person like doing the workouts with me, even if it's on a video. So like Pamela's, Pamela Reef's workouts or Chloe Ting, like even though it's just a video, like I'm still doing the workout and they're still doing the workout on the screen. You know what I mean? I can't have someone just like, and I know they're, they're trying to um, walk around the class to make sure you're doing the workouts properly or whatever But like I just feel like really uncomfortable with that Yeah, I just didn't like how she was just walking around the room and like shouting out like okay Your incline's supposed to be this and your speed is supposed to be this like I'm like, uh No, I just I would like her to be doing something like with us I know like teaching a class is really tiring in itself, but like still I would like the instructor to also be doing something and doing it with us just like a cycle bar they're doing and showing you like what to do and like calling things out it's just like on the video where pamela is doing you know the ab hold or the plank and then you hear the timer well like the cycle bar and start to be like in three two one and then like you know stand up whereas the orange theory instructor will call out things but it won't be like it'll just be like her calling it out not like doing it you know what i'm saying and i just don't really like that it brings me back to this little side note story so i went to a dance studio this is like my old old dance studio not like the current well, not current, I don't dance anymore, but like not my latest dance studio. It was another one that's like out of business. This there was this teacher and she would literally like sit down like how I am sitting right now and like teach a dance class. And we always like made fun of that because you can't teach dance sitting. Like, I'm sorry. Like, there's just some things. And if you are, you need like an assistant to like show the movements, show the dance on the right counts and everything. Yeah, it was just so funny. So that's kind of like how I related the orange cherry. Like, the lady wasn't doing anything. So like, she was just kind of there, I guess. Okay, moving on to equipment. Um, so Orange Theory, you have to have this heart rate monitor. And it was so funny because after my class, I almost like forgot to give it back. But you wear this thing and it tracks like your calories, like everything, all your metrics, um, how many splat points you earned, and just like what zones you're in, like the different colors, which is really cool technology. Like no hate to that technology. And I thought it was really cool. Um, it was almost like, a Fitbit, which is, I mean, essentially it's kind of the same thing. At Cycle Bar, you don't need like any equipment because it's already provided there for you. Um, you can buy your own shoes, which if I actually commit to this, like I'm going to wait until I'm there for like at least, um, I don't know, six months, but like four to six months. I will just wait to see if I really like it and like I stay consistent with it. If so, then I will buy the shoes. If not, then like I'm not going to because you don't need to buy anything. Um, when you buy a package or a membership or just drop into the class, like you get the shoes. It's not like Soul Cycle um, where you like have to rent the shoes for like three dollars. No, it's already built in to that cost, so it's really nice. Um, but I've heard with Orange Theory, like you have to buy the heart rate monitor. I'm over here like, uh, and I don't even know if that includes, like, I don't know if you can get your heart rate monitor, like an app to download to like an Apple watch or a Fitbit if you have one, but that is like an out of pocket cost. And I just really don't like that. Whatever. Again, it's just my opinion. Moving on. There was a survey I had to take after the Orange Theory class. And it was weird because like on surveys, like I am pretty honest, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna just like, you know, say, oh, everything was great if I think that there should be improvement and everything. So I remember commenting or writing 
Um, I wish the instructor or we had a timer because like I don't like counting reps, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the whole reason why I don't like going to a gym. I don't want to sit and count push-ups. Like, I don't want to have to count to 50 because, like, I can't count, and I've already discussed this. I can't even enjoy the music that I'm listening to or the music at all if I'm too busy counting because I have to focus on counting. You know what I'm saying? So I think I put that in there. Um, like, hey, you need to have, like, a timer, like, not just, like, this many reps, you know? I just don't like that. And I get a call from them, and it was, like, so awkward because I'm like, oh, I didn't know anyone was actually going to read that. I was just, you know, giving back my honest feedback, and they were like, oh, well, um, every class is different, so... I mean, apparently every workout's different, but how different can you get with a workout if you had the same machinery? You know what I'm saying? Like... If you're gonna do a rower like you're always gonna do a rower you know what i'm saying maybe someone in the comments can clarify that for me how is each workout different and also like going back to cycle bar i don't know if there was like a survey or anything but there was nothing that i felt like was bad except for the fact that like i wish i knew the bike a little bit better but i mean my second time like my first ride at another location like i actually felt a lot more comfortable because it's not that hard really um, cause it's a bike. Moving on to like overall like my thoughts and then we'll get to the end at the end of the class. So my overall thoughts of like the programs, I see Orange Theory like you could do that at home. Like no offense. I mean, you can do the floor exercises and workouts at home for free and then you can just pay a cheap gym membership like at LA Fitness or like one of those places and do like, you know, rowers or the treadmill or you could just go outside and run um, cause that's what I did cause I did enjoy the treadmill and I was like, I really do want to get into running. So that's why I just started my running journey and I don't know if I could still run as well as I did before, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, cause I don't have a, like a deep passion for running. I just wanted to see if I could do it and challenge myself. So I really think like Orange Theory is made for people that really need the motivation to do workouts at a gym setting. But since you can do all of that at a gym setting, like you don't really need to do that. So um, moving on to Cycle Bar, overall, I feel like you could totally buy a bike and you can ride a bike outside, change the gears, whatever, and then, you know, listen to your music. It's totally doable. Like both of them are doable outside of the programs, right? I think Orange Theory, again, is for the people that really need that push, that person like saying, okay, you need to incline more or whatever. Um, with Cycle Bar, I find it to be a whole experience. So the music that they're playing, they have like inspirational like sayings during it. Not sayings, I don't know, but the the trainers and the cycle stars, they have like inspiring messages and it's fun. And sometimes they like say, how are you doing Monday night or whatever? And then like people yell and it's like fun. You like ride in the dark or sometimes with like red lights. It's almost like a club. And you can say that about Orange Theory as well because like the lights are orange um, in there, but they don't like change. So with Cycle Bar, like the lights change sometimes, like they'll put on normal lights and then they'll dip it down to like just black. And then it's an experience on both ends, but I just, I like Cycle Bar's experience. Whereas I feel like the experience at Orange Theory is a little bit more basic. So moving on after the class, post class. I'll start out with cycle bar because it's like really simple and easy. So they're like, oh, did you like your first ride? And I was like, yeah. And then we took pictures and the um, trainer, the leader, she was like, oh, I want to get in your picture. And she was like so friendly and we, you know, bonded with her a little bit. And she was, she told me like, oh, I didn't really notice that this was your first cycle class. And I'm like, yeah, it was really cool. And you were really good. And she was like, thanks. Not once of a membership or anything. I rode for free, we left, and then we went to Starbucks. You can watch the vlog. If I remember, I'll try to link it down below. That was really it. There was no talk about memberships. They did text me after 
asking if I was interested and I was like, hey, I'm from Orlando and they're like, oh, totally got, totally got you. So it was a little bit of a different circumstance, um, but I've only, I think I only received two messages. One asking how my class was and then two asking about the membership. Other than that, they did not pressure me, especially not in person. Moving on to Orange Theory, again, friendly people. But after the class ended, the girl came in with this like clipboard and like with the prices and she was like, oh, so how'd your class go? And I was like, good, she was really friendly. Then she started like naming the prices and like what I would get. And I was like, okay, and I really didn't want to be rude. So I pretty much just said, oh, I'm waiting for the vaccine to come out because um, that was like before the vaccines rolled out and everything. She was like, yeah, I totally understand. And then she like kind of backed off, obviously. Um, we'll give you a call like when the vaccine's like closer to that May, around that May date or whatever. And then I do remember them calling me a few times. They didn't really email too much, but they did call me and I was like, um, eh, like, but then they finally like backed off and everything and it was cool, but it's very much just what you prefer and what motivates you and everything. It's the overall workout experience that you want. So really think about it. Let me know if you tried any workouts programs down below in the comments. Let me know if you've done Soul Cycle. I was watching videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, that company is is really expensive um, and I don't think I would do that because you can get like good quality other places yeah let me know because I'm really curious um, I think that's gonna be it sorry for talking forever it's gonna take me a long time to edit but it's fine I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about this if I forgot anything I'll leave it in the description box down below Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me your thoughts and experiences. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.